Hey guys, go to boy 32 in this episode. This is part three of the chest rig build. This is the Condor VT holster review. Stand by. All right, guys, good morning. This is Coda Boy 32 and this is a part three of the chest rig build that we're going through. This is, again, designed as a travel chest rig. This is the deal that I'm going to use in the event I go out of town and I got to get home to the family. In that endeavor, we're going to keep it light, high speed, low drag. I'm not going to put any plates in this thing. This is purely for defense, a lot of ammo, keep them away, that kind of thing. So anyway, starting off, let's go ahead and talk about the next part. This is the Condor vertical holster and the reason I chose this guy is it's very well adjustable. I don't particularly care for the drop leg holster so this is pretty much the one I'm going to go with and the reason I like this is I can put this on the rig itself and not have to worry about any additional appendages hanging off or slinging and doing all that kind of stuff. Okay so right now what's in here is a Springfield XDM 3.8 compact 40 cal. This is my everyday carry, and it's got the extended version on there. Let's go ahead and clear the weapon. All clear. And uh, let me just go through a couple of things. This is the reason I like this is one, you've got a lot of adjustability in here. What ideally is going to end up going in this is probably because it's going to be a, you know, shit hits the fan kind of thing. Man, you know, believe it or not, I'm looking at the, the canic. Uh, 9mm SA9 or something like that. That's 350 bucks. Drop it in here. You've got a 9mm high capacity, or let's say normal capacity, of around, uh, what's that thing hold? 18 plus 1. So ideally that's what's going to go in here. Now, of course, it's got a little longer uh, barrel and slide section than the XDM 40 cal here. So it's nice to have the adjustability. You get the hook and loop, hook and loop, <laughs> and um, one of the deals you can see that this particular portion here accommodates the, the firearm like that. So in order to make, put a longer firearm in there, all you gotta do is, let me see if I can make that light up a little bit more. Okay, so all you gotta do is adjust the strap, extend that out a little further, and you can put a, any size you want in there. It's pretty cool. So again, that's one of the reasons why I like that. So you put that back there, there, and you're done. It's a Molly attachment. Uh, webbing back here you got a two and a three section here very very well done I believe yeah. then you've got the means to secure it utilizing these straps here snap back fastener and another hook and loop or velcro uh, safety latch thing whatever you want to call it all right so let's talk about quality here guys you know for what it's being used for uh, I think it's a, it's a good thing. It's excellent shape. I don't have any concerns there. I'm not really going to be dragging it through the desert, jungle, whatever have you. The best thing that this thing is going to be used for is to get it home. Now, the reason I do go ahead and I'm going to attach this thing to the rig itself, the waistband, or the cummerbund, is because if I've got to use this, this shit's going to hit the fan anyway. And I like it close, tight to my side. Now, I don't like things slinging off everywhere. Close knit. Anyway, guys. This is the Condor Bell, or the Condor Vertical Holster. 17 bucks, free shipping with Amazon. $16.95 to be exact. And that is part three of the chest rig build. And hopefully in a couple of weeks, we'll go ahead and get this thing assembled and uh, show you what we got. So that being said, Coda Boy 32, God bless America. God bless those men and women in uniform 24 seven for our freedom. Because freedom is not free as Coda Boy 32 out.